I believe it's like 30 something, like 36 or something. I've had this one since October or November. No, actually early October. And the first one I had of these, it lasts about seven months. So very impressive product for the price. It was worth it and I will pay it again. And I'm just going out. There's a little bit of product on it to get the line going. So you can always, I tend to just twist it with my teeth while I'm working, but twist a little bit more product as you need it. Liquid liner is very precise and it takes a little bit to get it down pat. Yep, no talking while liquid liner is going on. Alright. Now, later on in videos, I will show you with cream liner. Cream liner is really, really good um, to start with. It's a lot better probably to start with than going out and buying a $38 liquid liner. So, this one will be a later purchase. I will show you how to use a cream eyeliner which will be easier and more simplistic. Okay, I'm just going back over all my edges. And one little flick there at the end. Yeah. yeah. We'll check it out at the end with mascara and see. They're the same. Okay. Cannot let that go drop. Now, what we'll do. I love to sit when I'm done with my makeup gives me more relaxation time because this is very soothing actually makeup is not a stressful time it's fun and I love to play in it if you cannot tell let's go ahead and get mascara my favorite mascara of the moment if you all want to give me recommendations love to try any of them this one is the studio fix lash from Mac the brush there you go it is made to individually coat every lash Zoom was always my favorite, but gosh, that was one dramatic one. So, and I am, you can see there, I'm going through and starting at the base, wiggling up through those lashes. Just gotta wiggle them. I love to pack on mascara. If you can't tell by my screen name, this is my favorite product that and blush but we already had that applied today before I started eyes because I take forever to do my makeup now so I consider this one coat <laughs> okay so this one has about three and we'll let that dry a sec okay compare me Mm -hmm. well, I think this one still has more color. Yeah. So. Now, while that mascara is drying, what I'm going to do, make sure my eyeshadows were even. I'm going to go back in with this color right here. Handwritten. Got to make sure they're balanced. And I'm taking that handwritten color right in that nook, that crease. See, there we go. And a little more handwritten right underneath. Perfect. And 217. We got to get some Tita Tint. Tita Tint in there and brown script in there. Mm. 
And I want you all to give me some good criticism to improve because I really want to get some great videos up online so people can learn. That's what YouTube videos are for. To teach one another. I know a lot about makeup but not much about YouTube. Okay. Am I even? I believe so. And what since we just dusted shadow, we need more mascara. And wiggle them back in there with more <laughs> studio fix lash. And yes, I probably go through a tube in four weeks. No six to eight here. But please make sure you change your mascara if you are keeping it like month, months and months. <clears throat> I'll be posting more videos since I'm continuing to be sick and stuck at the house. Mm, this was blunt type. Put it right there. Blending out edges. Make them all like... Oh my gosh, I'm almost done. Last step will be... Oh, next to last. I am so sorry. Smolder. Smolder Eye Coal by MAC. The most amazing smoky eye creation in the world. Um, I'm taking it under right there. Make sure, don't ever forget to do that. This is one step that will make your lashes look bigger and longer and darker just by lining that upper water line. And I know you're probably like, oh my god, I didn't know I had one. Yes, right up here. Just like a lower one, but we will not line the lower right now. That'll be another tutorial. Mm. This is my favorite color corrector. It's a sample. Okay, sample jar from the cosmetic department. It's Bobbi Brown. It is one of their new color correctors. This one is a light pink because I prefer to have a light pink shade under here or a light pale yellow according to how bad my circles are on days and this is a 224 brush from MAC it is wonderful to blend out concealer and it's very gentle so finish that area okay wonderful no under eye circles and since I just did that with the concealer, I'm going to use my favorite blush, Pink Swoon. Use this one going on three years. I'm addicted to it. With the 188 brush. And this I love because it slowly builds color. Just ever so lightly. Just do a little smile right there. And the 116 brush by MAC. This powder is slowly running out. This is from the, well, it's permanent for MAC Pro, but it's called Bone Beige and Emphasis, or Emphasize, Emphasis, and I'm using the dark color in it, if you can see, oh, so sad, dark color to do my contour, and I'm only touching this up because we use concealer there, and it makes sure that it's nice and sculpted, <laughs> and everywhere else. A little sculpt in the nose. <sighs> All right, and that's it, guys. I'm super excited. First YouTube video ever. So, let me know what you think. Um, I hope that it was informative and not too ridiculously horrible. And I will see you all soon on YouTube. Thank you. Bye.